In this video, I'm going to show you how I accomplish a 2000 megahertz overclocking from the 1660 Ti from Gigabyte Overclock Edition. So as you can see, this is my GPU. I have a 1660 Ti from Gigabyte. It has 6 gigs of memory. And if you look at the default clock, we got 1500 for memory and boost up to 1800 megahertz. My current configuration is 1700, 1654, and the boost is 2000 megahertz. Now this is a mid-range PC, and I got this a year ago, and I haven't really upgraded besides the 1660 Ti, where before I had a 1060 Ti 3 gigabyte. My processor is a i5-8400, which boost up to 4.0 gigahertz. So if you are in a mid-range or low-range gaming PC and you have the same graphics card, then you would need to overclock it just to get the best performance. So if you look at the configuration to be able to accomplish this, I was able to do so with the Aorus engine. I know a lot of people use the MSI Afterburner, but this was my preference to be able to get the overclocking. So if you go over to the Gigabyte website, which I'll be providing the link, you'll be able to download it and install it. So to be able to get this stable overclock, I went ahead and did a manual GPU boost and I set the first setting to 2000 and the memory clock. I play around for about a week until I get a stable overclock and I put it a 13 to 30. I didn't touch anything with the GPU voltage or the fan speed. I left it auto and the power target, I slightly increased it from 100 to 120%. The target temp, I left the default at 83. So after that, you hit apply and then that will save the settings. And anytime you restart your computer, you will need to make sure that this application is running. So with 32 gigabytes of memory at 2666 megahertz and the specs that you see here, I'm getting decent FPS in Fortnite, Call of Duty, and the new Call of Duty Cold War. So with this, you'll be able to overclock it and be able to get a stable overclock at 2000 megahertz. Keep in mind that there are different brands for the 1660 Ti, so you may not achieve the same speeds that I have here, but if you do bought the same card that I have, you could try the settings and you should definitely see a minor improvement when you game.